Hello everyone and welcome to Best Side Cycling. Uh, today is a really special edition as um, I'm here on the new 4th Avenue uh, bike lanes and this is all live narrated. So uh, I'm going to be really testing this new wireless mic that I got and see how it goes. Um, so as you can see, uh, riding along here, this sort of parallels 2nd Avenue and it's going to be running all the way down past Pike Place down to Yesler Way, which we'll be riding to today. Today's a pretty windy day, so I'm going to wait and see how this quality goes, but nonetheless, still quite excited to do this ride. Uh, all along, they've included the same sort of features as on 2nd Avenue with the bike signals. Uh, this is mainly due to the fact that both of these roads are one lane, and there's definitely a high chance of uh, cars turning into you uh, as you know, on their left turn light. So this just coordinates with that and makes sure that we all stay safe. So we're gonna stop here really quick. This is Bell Street, one of the main avenues to sort of go north south. You can sort of see that these two roads here, at least, they're sort of closed off to any other traffic. And then down over there to the left is actually the monorail, uh, which connects to where we're going to be passing by today. And this monorail is really great because it brings you straight from Seattle Center right to West Lakes uh, Park area in the mall. But this is a great road for getting into South Lake Union and such. All right, let's keep going. And uh, I'm sure some of you guys are keeping up with the news, but with the recent sort of weather patterns, there's been a lot of wind, so I'm gonna have to avoid some of these piles of leaves. And today I'm actually riding a new bike that I got. It's a folding bike, uh, the one that Brompton. So these are some 16 inch wheels. So with that, I'll be a little bit more careful, but looks like we got another light here. But yeah, all these new markings and barriers are completely new and I haven't seen them before. So it's pretty neat. Uh, I can ride this for the first time. Usually when I go through downtown, I would use 2nd Avenue. The problem with 2nd Avenue is that it passes by a lot of busy, busy corridors and uh, it's sort of on a down slope. So you can get pretty fast. And the problem with going fast is that there's a lot of parking garages along 2nd Avenue. So the chances of getting hooked is quite high. But light goes off again, so here we go. But yeah, I just wanted to try out this style of narration. I haven't done it before, so pardon if I stumble on my words, but at least you'll get a very accurate account of what's going on here. And to the left, here is Cinerama. It's a very beloved theater, but unfortunately now closed due to the pandemic for the foreseeable future. Uh, but there's still a lot of good things around here, but yeah, definitely the pandemic has played its toll on some of the local things. But so far, uh, really liking this road. It's just like 2nd Avenue. It gives you another option to go straight through downtown and get to Yesler Way, which you can use to connect to like the I-90 trail or to the ferry terminal or so on. So now we're getting a bit closer to downtown. So coming up here to the left is, uh, this is Westlake Park as well as Westlake Mall. This is where a lot of people, uh, where a lot of events are held and where the monorail, you can take the monorail as well as take the Westlake Station, the, light, the link station. They usually have a lot of cool festivities set up around here. So it's pretty neat now that there's a direct bike, bike lane right next to it. But yeah, so far I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm really liking this just due to the, the lack of a steep gradient down like on second. So, and all, all these intersections have these new bike lane signals and left turn boxes. So it's pretty well built. Uh, this is now Pike Street. So we're getting pretty close to the core of downtown. Like if I just turn my bike this way, there's Pike Plate Market right there. So. Uh, that's not where we're going today, so I'm going to keep going back on track. 
but you can see how easy it is to sort of navigate around downtown now with some of these new lanes. So, um, so now we're we'll going, uh, still in the southeasterly direction. We'll pass by a lot of other notable landmarks around here. Over there is the symphony. It's near another Trent link station, but that's also where the Seattle Orchestra plays. And of course around here, it's basically just a lot of different office buildings nearby. And I think this All right, so let's keep going. So now this is Union Street. And what was here before was basically almost nothing. I think for some parts of it, there used to be a marked bike lane, but now, there, now there's actually these protected bike lanes, so pretty different. And I'll show you guys how it connects on later to some of the other pieces of infrastructure, but it's cool because if you look here to the right, you'll get views of the Elliott Bay. So, The only thing I sort of miss on 2nd Avenue is where they have a lot of these stands here on the right, so. <laughs> Even with the lights here, they don't have the actual stands for you to rest your leg on, so that's a bit funny. But otherwise, so far, so good. I think we're more or less already halfway there. It's not a particularly long segment, but it passes by a lot of notable landmarks, especially the Westlake Park area, uh, where you can then take the monorail or use the link or anything you like. Looks like they've incorporated some of these crosswalks here in the middle too. Definitely be a lookout since this is a pedestrian heavy zone. And yeah, as noted, there's probably gonna be a lot of stops along the route. But overall, through downtown pretty good. Here on the left, this is the library. Yes, I think this is the Seattle Public Library. It's got very cool architecture, especially if you go to the top floor and really go check out and see what's there. It's pretty neat. So, but, and then here, uh, this is Spring Street, so we're getting quite getting along over here. Let's keep going. So now we're encountering a slight gradient downwards. So let's see how what we, what we encounter here. It's not that steep a slope, probably only like two or three percent. So now we're getting closer to the Pioneer Square area. Um, definitely you're gonna encounter a lot more <laughs> traffic and people around here. I'd say just be heads up. There's definitely uh, been cases of things, but I, with this bike lane, it's, it's still quite nice to ride around here. So I ride through it all the time for my normal commute. And today is a very typical Seattle fall day. This, Sort of dreary, actually not raining right now. There's a ton, a little bit of drizzling, but nothing we haven't seen before. But I'm just really excited for this just because of the additional options of how to get through, <laughs> thanks, of how to get through downtown. Um, I think just having Second Avenue was definitely nice, but 
there's parts of that Second Avenue that just acted as sort of a, a trap for cyclists to really get hooked by cars. So now that we're here and we have this, it definitely makes for something different. So riding along here, we're getting pretty close to the end. Um, I think what happens is that this will transition onto Yesler Way through a park. So we're going to see, we're going to walk through, walk you through that now. But right here. And then this is where it turns onto Yesler Way and it transitions to fourth. There is that, that way you can see here to connect straight forward. But today I'm just going to follow this new trail that they've made. And it's really bumpy here. Um, and we made it. So we're here on Yesler Way. And third, uh, you can keep on, you, if we follow this, we'll get down to second. And using this, uh, you'll be able to reach like the ferry terminal and a lot of different things. So thanks so much for checking that out with me, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one.